no, I'll tell you something, you know, which is very eye-opening. A lot of people don't know about it. See, the Prime Minister of Britain from whom we got independence was Clement Attlee, the Labour Prime Minister. Now, Clement Attlee happened to visit Calcutta in 1953 and put up at the Raj Bhavan there. Raj, the governor of West Bengal at that time was uh, Justice P.B. Chakraborty. You know, the previous governor had died. And when a governor dies, the uh, chief justice becomes the acting governor. The P.B. Chakraborty was the acting governor. P.B. Chakraborty asked Atli, to what extent was Gandhiji's movements, the 42 movements, civil disobedience, all these things, ahimsa, to what extent these were instrumental in persuading the British to leave India. You know, Atli used to, he, uh, P.P. Chakruti had written a letter to this effect somewhere, but Atli used to smoke a pipe, you know, so he stuck that pipe in his mouth. And after some thinking, he said, minimal. That is to say the effect of Gandhiji's movement on the British decision to leave India was minimal. Actually, in uh, in analysis, a lot of people would agree with me that the thing that eventually persuaded the British to leave India was not a simple single thing. There were several factors. For one thing, Britain had been very badly mauled in the war, and they were they had become almost an impoverished country. They had they were saved out of that condition only by the Marshall Plan launched by the U.S. So in such circumstances, the Britain had lost its will to uh, govern this country. Second thing, the Labour Party, which was in power at that time, the Labour Party was never in uh, favour of keeping the empire intact. If Churchill had been still the prime minister, he would not have given India independence. Third thing, which I think is the most, um, most uh, pressing uh, reason, for the British to leave India was the uh, organization of the INA by Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. It is not as if INA vanquished the uh, British. INA was vanquished by the British and they were driven back. And then eventually they were all caught as POWs. They were brought to Delhi for a treason trial. We all know that, that INA trial in Delhi in 1946. But... The INA, the organization of the INA by Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose had, put, had shaken the faith of the British in their Indian troops. After all, how many British were there in India? Hardly 10,000, 12,000. And they were ruling a country of a population or with a population of some 33 crores, uh, 35 crores. So what was the instrument through which so few people were ruling so many people. It was the army, basically. And the army, they had once been mauled by the army back in 1857. So after that, they learned their lessons and they molded their army in such a way that they would never, this, uh, they would never uh, rebel against the British. But the army did rebel against the British when the INA came and that shook the British faith in the army. The second thing was the naval mutiny, which took place in 1946 in Mumbai, then Bombay. And these things uh, are considered to be the prime reasons why the British left India.